Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to be showing you a um, comparison and a versus video between the Autel MD808 Pro and the Foxwell NT680 Pro. Two tools which are very evenly matched, but there are a few differences and I'm going to talk you through those differences in this video. So these, both of these tools are available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm going to put a link to these kits in the description below this video. So. Um, where to buy them, obviously we've already covered where to buy them, Diagnostic World, that way you get genuine tools, there are fakes, there are clones on the market, so you really do need to be aware of that. Um, with regards to the power of these tools, you'll see that both of them are lit up, you might be wondering how that's happening. Uh, this tool, the NT680, is plugged into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. This tool is just plugged in via a USB cable to a tablet. So that's where it's taking its power So This one doesn't have connection to the vehicle at the moment. Um, yeah, so we've got two very good, very comprehensive diagnostic packages here. Now with regards to the prices of these tools, obviously prices are subject to change. Changes, uh, prices are always changing depending on the market, things like that. But this tool here right now, at the time of making this video, the Oxwell tool is available for £450. The NT, uh, sorry, the MD, 808 Pro is available for £349. So there's about a hundred pounds difference between the two tools. Um, and who are they aimed at? Well, I think they probably both aimed at um, maybe maybe work garages, workshops, smaller garages, not the bigger garages, um, car enthusiasts, or generally anybody who has to look after uh, maybe a wide range of cars or like a fleet manager or you want to look after all the cars in your family, then I see no reason as to why one of these tools won't be suitable for your needs and I think they will uh, come in very, very handy if you are if you do fall under any of those categories. So, you know, mobile mechanics, small garages, workshops, car insurance, uh, sorry, car enthusiasts, uh, car clubs, uh, you name it, fleet managers. Um, with regards to whether they are wireless or wired, there are a lot of uh, kits on the market these days which are wireless and they are tablet based um, and they work via Bluetooth, but these tools have a solid connection. They both connect via a serial port. One end goes into the top of the tool and the other end tool, uh, the tool goes into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Um, they are both specifically for diagnostics. As I mentioned, there are tablets out there which can also connect to the internet, they can also you know, download games and you know, download other applications. These you can't, these are limited to purely just being diagnostic packages, so you can't go online with them or anything like that. Um, updates is another important issue that both of these tools have. Um, there are a number of tools out there which will charge you for updates. They'll generally give you one year's update for free and then they'll charge you after that. But both of these tools come with free lifetime updates. So once you've purchased the tool, all updates are free for life and that is guaranteed. Not by myself of course, but simply by the manufacturers. The manufacturers promise free updates for these tools. Um, so update prices which you know a lot of people ask me what what is the update price in these tools it's not applicable completely free uh, live data in these tools you know they, they well they will give you lots of live data they'll give you lots of system coverage and vehicle coverage uh, but ultimately they're gonna they're gonna diagnose all of the main systems in the vehicle they're gonna diagnose things like engines airbags ABS transmission you know suspension parking sensors in fact let me just go into this one here and just click into diagnostic and we'll just select our vehicle which is a Porsche Cayenne uh, and just to give you an idea of the type of systems that it will cover um, but they're both pretty much identical for system coverage, in fact. Um, this screen's just gone off because the tablet's gone into sleep mode, so I'll just put that back on. There we go, you can see the tool firing up as well. Um, so we'll, uh, yeah, these are the, the systems, you know, you've got the main, the, the engines, the ABS, the airbags, transmission, brake control, air conditioning, all-wheel drive system, amplifiers, lane change. Just give the video a pause if you want to take a closer look at anything. Um, so this is it. This is going to be exactly the same. We probably won't be able to get into the lists because it's not plugged into a vehicle. But they are 
pretty much identical. Um, there are a few differences between the two tools though and I suspect that's what you really want to hear about. The service tool on this, in fact it's got a bit of a beep going on there, what I like to do with the tool is just get rid of that beep. It makes the tool a lot more nicer to play with. So um, we're going to go to, actually we'll go to vehicle coverage. So let's have a look at the Asian market first of all on both tools. So we've got, on this one we've got Acura, Dayu, Honda, Hyundai, Isuzu, Infiniti, Kia, Lexus, uh, Suzuki, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nas, no, Nissan, Sion, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota. And this one we've got Acura, Dayu, Daihatsu, Honda, Hyundai, Hyundai CV, Infiniti, Isuzu, Kia, Lexus, Mazda, Mitsubishi, Nista, Nissan, Perudia, Sion, Sangyong, Subaru, Suzuki, Toyota, and Proton. Okay, let's have a look at the, well, we'll go to American actually. Uh, Chrysler, Ford and General Motors, Chrysler, Ford and General Motors. And we've also got General Motors Brazil. Um, this tool, the, the, the Foxwell also tools, uh, covers Chinese vehicles if you're, if you're so lucky to have a Chinese vehicle. But European is mainly why people buy these tools. Um, and there are a few differences. So this one covers Audi, Abarth, Alfa Romeo, BMW, Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, Bugatti, Citroen, Dacia, European Ford, Fiat, Jaguar, Lancia, Land Rover, Mini, Maybach, uh, Vauxhall, Opel, Peugeot, Porsche, Renault, Seat, Skoda, Saab, Smart, Sprinter, Vauxhall, Volkswagen and VW. This one covers all of those as well but it also additionally covers Aston Martin, um, Ferrari, Maserati, Maybach and Lamborghini. So that is a big reason to choose this tool over this tool if you wanted to diagnose one of those high-end cars like as Maserati, Aston Martin, Lamborghini or Ferrari. Now we're going to take a look at the service functions now or the maintenance functions. <clears throat> Again this is where this one is better and it covers more because if we go to the service menu on the Maxi Diag MD808 it gives us oil reset, electronic park and brake, steering angle sensor, DPF, BMS, throttle and that's it. You get six service functions. If we look at the NT680 Pro we've got, well I'll scroll through them and you can look for yourself. We've got six actually there. We've already seen eight on this screen. 12, 16, 20. 20 different sets of service functions within the NT680 Pro. So, so far we've got a few pros and cons for both of these tools. Um, both get really good live data, good special functions but this one's better. Help and support if you need help and support for any of these tools. What you need to do is contact your supplier. You don't go direct to Hotel, you don't go direct to Foxwell because they will, they will just, they'll give you nothing but trouble. What you need to do is go through the route of going direct to your supplier and then once you've given them the information the supplier will then have quick links to the manufacturers. That's the way it works unfortunately. They don't, they don't want to see you going direct to the manufacturer if you've got a problem. Um, help, uh, sorry, print facility, neither of these tools will provide print facility unfortunately. And power supply, both required to hook up to the vehicle to get their power from the diagnostic port of the vehicle. As I said, this one is also, this one's powered up, but it can't do anything. It can only do something once it's powered up by the diagnostic port of the vehicle. Uh, screen size, well they're both good screen sizes, they're both good in their own unique way. Um, both very clear, easy to operate menu systems. You're certainly not going to get lost and you know exactly where you are at all times. Uh, languages, let's have a look at the languages for the, the Autel tool. Ah, oh, we've gone off. We've gone off because the tablet has gone into sleep mode again. Let me just show you actually in case you're confused as to what I'm talking about. This is the Autel tablet, this is the Autel kit and we've just, we've just got it connected via a, a USB cable there. Right, where were we? We were going to look at languages, so we'll go to languages for both of these tools actually. So language. 
English, Chinese it looks like, French, German, Spanish, Italian, Swedish, Portuguese, Dutch, Polish, Russian is it, Japanese, Chinese again, Japanese again, and Greece. Uh, languages for this one, the, the Foxwell, well I'm just going to scroll through them actually. So, honest opinion, which tool would I choose? Well, it's all very well me saying I would choose this particular tool, but my circumstances, my vehicles are probably going to be very, sorry, probably going to be very different to your vehicles. So it all really depends on your set of specific circumstances. If, <clears throat> if you're happy to pay a higher purchase price, by £100 then go for the Foxwell because it covers way more service options and it also covers way more vehicles like this you know like the Chinese cars but I, in all honesty who's gonna who's gonna be using those this tool for that um, but there is a chance that you'll be using it for things like Ferrari Aston Martin if you have one of those cars of course um, so that is £100 more if you only need this tool to work on you know your standard cars things like BMW, Audi, Seat, Skoda, Mitsubishi, Nissan, Hondas, you know, VWs, the, the regular cars that are you see 99% of the time on the on the roads of your country and you want to pay a bit less and you're happy to compromise just a few service options. Maybe you're not that technically minded so the maintenance options on this are maybe a bit too much for you uh, but you want to have some level of um, you know maintenance options like the service reset and maybe the DPF as well then this tool is, is good for you me personally which tool would I go for well to, to know that you need to know my circumstances I'm an enthusiast my personal life I'm a car enthusiast and I've got a few cars which are you know they're, they're nothing special but they are cars which are seen every day on the roads and wouldn't necessarily go into sort of too much technical work um, so between the two personally I would choose the Autel MD808 kit 99% of the time it's going to give you everything you need in this tool this tool has a little bit maybe a little bit of overkill when it comes to functions functions that okay yes it's good that they're there but in the real world are you actually going to use them uh, the chances are probably no unless you're in a garage workshop a mobile mechanic sort of environment so make a decision on these two tools based on based on that really um, and that's that's the best I can do with regards to which one which tool is best I can't say which tool is best for you because I don't know your circumstances what I would say though is email the guys at Diagnostic World and maybe explain your circumstances to those guys and they could recommend something for you um, so I hope this video has been helpful um, if it has been then uh, great go ahead and please give it a, a like button and maybe if you want to see more comparison videos we've got plenty coming plenty already on the channel um, then maybe hit that subscribe button to see more videos uh, and you won't miss a single thing so thanks for watching the scan tool network YouTube channel plenty more videos coming and we'll see you soon